I've come to the obvious conclusion that this generation is the most narcissistic of all time. That's why we have these new inventions like the selfie stick and the front facing camera. You know why these things didn't exist before? Because people looked at other things other than themselves. These objects scream, look at me, look at me. I don't want to be left alone with my thoughts, so please tell me I'm pretty. The invention of the front facing camera does have its pros and its cons though. Pro, it can be used as a mirror. Now I'm kiss ready. Hello, lady. Con, sometimes you'll open it up by accident and get a glimpse of your true form. Oops, I forgot this is what I really look like. Bro, you can use it to take a secret photo of someone being a dumbass behind you. That's always fun. Haha, you're dumb and now I can share that with other people. Con, you can get arrested for taking creep shots of people. Haha, I'm in jail now. Bro, if you don't have any friends, you can use it and pretend like someone's actually making eye contact and listening to you for once. Just saying, I don't think she treated me right. Thank you for always being there for me, me. Con, that friend only wants to talk when you're talking. Stop talking when I'm talking. The front facing camera was first released on the iPhone on June 24th, 2010, and we will never have another phone without these four centuries. It would be extremely fallacious to not contribute the peak in selfie taking due to the addition of the front facing camera. Before we had the front facing camera, it was hard for people to show you their faces, so they just showed you their meals instead. You know what? I think the government did this on purpose. They made it way too easy for us. How were we not supposed to be overly in love with ourselves? No one has mentioned the Iraq war since the invention of the front facing camera. People started lining up two days ago in front of the Apple store. These today's ultimate prize, the iPhone 6. I hope you guys get the iPhone of your dreams. Yeah, I hope you guys get it too. Although as confident in our appearances as we've become, we've also gotten very insecure about ourselves. Because when you put your face out into the world that much, it's way more easy to become offended. For a lot of people, if they don't get 100 likes on a selfie, they're pissed. But if you think about it in real life, if 100 people said that your face looked nice, you'd be uncomfortable, maybe even a little scared. You need that many people complimenting your face in real life, you have something I like to call Kardashian's disease. That's cool, I like the Kardashians. But hey, maybe humanity just doesn't wanna be satisfied.